This game is called Stallcraft. It's what you get when you cross Stalker with Minecraft. And I kind of enjoyed it. Now, throughout this video, you're going to see my feeble attempts at learning how to edit video. So, hang in there, okay? As you can see, the character creation screen is not very extravagant. I took my sweet time, but basically, you put in your name, and you hit go. And I wish I would hurry up, because buddy, I got some bullets to start slinging here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey pal, yeah, no. the name's Relic, not Roger. And you're not crazy. Apparently. The emission will be starting soon. We need to get out of here quick if we want to survive. Fortunately, I have an escape plan, but you have to grab the artifact. Otherwise, it will be a waste of time. Artifact. I don't know what the artifact is, but I do know that the recording level of my microphone when I was playing this game was not working or set correctly. So I'm trying to throw in a little play-by-play -play real quick without overdoing it. So if you hear voices, you're not crazy. You're not much good to us when injured. Can you see a first aid kit anywhere? If so, use it. You can hear me mumbling a little bit there. Not sure what I'm laughing about. As I'm editing this, I really can't read the little things that pop up on the screen. So. Right, back to walk. Check if there's anyone on the roof. Yeah, right here I was puzzled because he said check on the roof and I've been going down steps, so I was confused. Right here, I did misread this badly, which caused a whole lot of confusion and me wasting a whole lot of time, which pretty much leads to my first edit job to try to speed this thing up. So, here we go. Spotted. Notice the enemy. Look, enemy. Don't come on the horizon. Kill them. Should be as easy as fight from your position. Now, just imagine how surprised I was to realize I was carrying a sniper rifle the whole time. But all of that kind of turned to uh, dread after I realized that I'm getting ready to feel my very first sniper shot and I really don't need to yak this alright here we go you can do it deep breath got him alright 
I'm at for number two. Oh, piece of cake. Let's go ahead and get this one while we got our groove on. Oh, no. Reload, you big dummy. Great work. Now move to the northern part of the station. Also, find yourself a new weapon. The corpse of one of our men should be on this floor. I suggest yeah. searching it. This corpse search coming up is not something I'm proud of because I really can't figure out what I'm doing and another editing job is on its way You know what? I think this game came out of early access while I was doing all that. But don't worry. There'll be more. There's the one you want, genius. I think you picked him dry, bud. Go to the sarcophagus roof, under the pipe. Our helicopter will land there. Okay, Vlad. Where'd I get night vision goggles? If you're stuck in a hole somewhere, use your NVG. MBG. Okay, here I just looked around, thought I was overlooking something, kept looking, kept looking, wasn't finding anything. But I didn't want to miss anything because I didn't want to hear about it. But I realized that it took forever. So when I was editing it, I sped it up. And that's why I said, hey, you're very welcome. So you didn't have to sit and watch it. Okay, for some reason... This looked extremely high to me. And I just knew I was going to jump off there and die. I kept looking and looking. And I thought I'd put this in there. And it was just so... lackluster when I jumped off of here because it was just like... Bloop. And here I was, I spent... I don't know how much time there worrying about jumping off of that stupid thing. 
I really need to calm down, I think. Now here's another question that I have that I'll just throw in here. See all these things that pop up on the window? Now here, through this, I read most of them out. I can't read them now in the editing process. I see videos where people read them. I see videos where people don't. What's the preference? I don't know if people want to get read to. Most people, I feel like, can read them. Y'all let me know. Because I don't know. Even then when people read them to me in the video, I still read them anyway. So. Alright. Time to shut up. I gotta crawl in this hole. Yeah, look. Now this one looks high to me too. And I'm going to go through the same thing all over again. So I decided I'm going to plot and I'm going to plan and I'm going to jump this thing. So you watch this skill. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, uh, you see that cat like jump? Here I got surprised. What? Okay. Now I'm telling you all right here that I have no idea about these backpacks again. I'm not very good with this looting system, but I'm gonna figure it out. And for the sake of not making this video over an hour long, I have to kind of do some more editing here. So get ready, because it's coming. Trust me, you really don't want to watch me loot. But I'll let you know if I find something, and I did, the shotgun. And a little something else. An M4. Was pretty happy with that find. And now I'm trying to rearrange them around. Can I carry them all? Am I carrying too much? I don't know. But it's time for us to move Don't on. hesitate to search the corpses. There's always something useful on them. You can probably hear how absolutely stunned here I am to hear Vlad tell me to check the corpses after I'd been spent what seemed like a half an hour. But anyway. So we get to these steps. Here I am reading these things. And again, I think it was earlier. I said, do we read them? Do we not read them? Here I was trying to figure this out. This will take a little work. Here.
but I'm just being very nosy about everything and slow. But I'm getting ready to get down to business. And to do that, I needed that M4 that you seen me find earlier. And I needed my shotgun. Got a little scope there. I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. Double barrel. And I have to do. Oh. Man, that handle on that door just initially scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a person. so I can look around. I'm trying to remember them keys to jump. Crawl. Apparently I can't crawl. I'm too tall. I hear some Russians talking. And about now I realize they're talking to me. And they're shooting at me. I said while I was playing the game at some point, apparently you're, while you're doing this intro, your health just automatically reheals, I'm assuming. It's looking like mine is. I don't think I take quite as long here. I, I believe I've pretty much settled on my guns and I'm just kind of looking for ammo for said guns now to get into the game I like the atmosphere I mean I think I could like it. Um, I didn't go PvP. This is just the little intro part. And now we're going to get into a little bit more action. The emission is starting soon. Okay, Vlad. I don't know what emission is. But. That was a mistake. And now I'm sitting here talking to myself. You probably can't hear it, but I, I'm, I'm starting to wonder, hey, do I have a grenade? And then I said, well, I'll go around here and I'll get to drop on these dudes. I'll get up here and get to drop on them. They eat me up. They get to drop on nothing. They just about drop me. I was like, wow. I said, well, well I better get over here then because they're going to come up the steps on me. I'm awful brave and I have automatic revive. Alright. Now I 
I gotta go back looking around. So hang on. Fastest rising tune out there today, folks. Call of the Hunter. I don't know why I didn't go in there and look at the lights. Bossy, ain't you, Vlad? Probably mean something later on down the road. Where have you got to? Move it. Where have I got to? <laughs> I am thinking, oh god, that can't be good. Blood. Needless to say, the sight of all that blood had kicked in my survival instincts. So I thought I need to check out my skills, my jumping abilities. Be the first on my list. Checked them out. I realized they were missing. So I went to the crouch and discovered that when you're two blocks tall, crouching is useless. As I peered through the floating doo doo, it began. Shameless plug. And let's go because I, yeah, 
have got a big surprise waiting for you. Just at the top of these stairs. But first, you know there's a party pooper up here. taken care of. Are you ready for the big surprise? I hope so. I bring you the most requested song of the night. Call of the Hunter. What a great tune. Last time though, I promise. One video, one tune. So as I'm crawling through this pipe, trying to escape from wherever this place is, I follow a beacon, a flare. Is it my way out? <laughs> By now I've jumped off so much stuff, it don't even matter. <laughs> I actually made a noise. Wait a minute. Was I actually crouching? Or was I in a hole? I see daylight. I'm loaded up. I hear freedom calling me. Where are you, damn it? I'm Let on my way, talking. Vlad. Look, I see the helicopter. I'm looking dead at the helicopter. Oh, no, I did not see all these people standing here. Made my first big mistake. Go running out the door like an idiot. So I go ahead and pop out to the main page, boom, and then I cut my recorder off for some reason. Then I cut my recorder back on, that's a little, and then I log back into the game, and it drops me smack right there. And I said, God, this can't be good. All right, wait a minute. Give me a respawn. Maybe it'll give me a chance. So I respawn. And yes, it put me back in. Oh, and here I am running. Ooh, oh, all right. Wait a minute. Now let's think about this. You got a chance. You know what you're running into now? Let's not go. Let's deal some pain. That's how you do it. That's where I died. All right, well, Vlad. The mission is Finally. Prepare the laboratory. You had a sport hit. We saw the wing. You look like an Ewok. Man, I didn't know it upset you that bad. to the end. 
and I stood there with my mouth open. Now what follows is about a three minute description of what's going on in the game. I thought about speeding through it and I said no, if you want to see the game, see the game. Feel free to fast forward through this. But I will catch you on the other side. Но вместо белых пятен появилось одно черное пятно, таинственное, дикое, не поддающееся объяснению ученых зона. Изначально зоной называли периметр, радиус которого составлял 30 километров вокруг Чернобыльской АЭС. Именно эту территорию задел так называемый первый выброс. Огромный всплеск неизвестной энергии, который изменил саму реальность. Первыми людьми, ступившими на земли зоны, стали отнюдь не ученые или военные. Первыми были обычные бродяги, искатели приключений. Они с уважением относились к зоне, не используя в ней оружие и аккуратно исследуя каждый ее закуток. Когда первопроходцы вернулись, они принесли с собой первые артефакты. Это аномальные образования со сверхъестественными свойствами. При помощи артефактов можно было лечить любые болезни, создавать мощнейшие источники энергии и нарушать физические законы. После этого интерес к зоне невероятно возрос. Ее хлынули люди всех сортов и моральных качеств. Одни именовали себя сталкерами, пытались жить по заветам первопроходцев. Другие назвались бандитами и восприняли зону как место вседозволенности. За артефакты разгорелась настоящая война. Это стало причиной того, что зона изменилась навсегда. Именно тогда там появились аномалии имтанты, и именно тогда зона начала давать людям отпор. Со временем имтанты и аномалии становились опаснее, свойства артефактов начали слабеть, конкуренции стало больше, и поток людей, пытающихся прорваться сквозь охранные периметры в зону, ослабнее. Однако совсем недавно случайным людям не имеющим отношения к зоне, начал сниться один сон. Во сне менялись некоторые обстоятельства, но неизменным оставался большой яркий голубой шар, который видел каждый из них. После этого сна все люди, которым он снился, устремились в зону. Это явление получило название «Зов». А всех, кто следует этому зову, прозвали блаженными. Okay, folks, that right there was somewhat of an entrance to the game Stallcraft. Now, this is the point in the game where we have to select our faction, Stalker or Bandit, and this this is where I'm going to leave it up to you. You guys vote subscribe leave a comment tell me whether you want me to be a stalker or you want me to be a bandit now to the best of my knowledge i think this is an online pvp game and probably the majority of people is going to pick bandits because it sounds fun Come on, man, look. Their outfit is just a lot better looking. And I was thinking about bandits. But what I'm going to do is the first 50 subscribers that vote, I'm going to either be a stalker or a bandit. You vote. The first 50 subscribers that vote on whether or not I'm a stalker or a bandit. And if there is a tie then I'll flip a coin 
but uh, I wouldn't mind coming back to this game. It's it's all right. I I, I mean I enjoy it. It's fun. But we're going to do it. Stalker or Bandit, you vote. You make comments down below. Please like. Please subscribe. Hey, I'm trying to learn this editing stuff. This is like video three. Thank you. We'll see you later. Bye.